still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. We're live from Harlem in New York. What's happening with the audio? God, everything's going screwing up on me today. I have no idea what it's all about, but let's talk to somebody, all right? Okay, we like to um, surprise our next guest. Well, he actually kind of surprises us, so let's uh, check in here and see what, what happens here. Let's see if he answers. For sale. Rare photograph of Frank Sinatra punching Peter Lawford in the face at a make a wish benefit in nineteen sixty two. Fourteen dollars and sixty two cents OBO. For sale. Pete Bestwigs. They were released at the time of the Beetle Wigs, but didn't sell as well. We got lots of them. Two cents per thousand OBO. <laughs> For sale. Diamond studded dildo used by Kevin Spacey. Oh, are we on? Hello? Hello. How are you? <laughs> yeah. It's like the shopping channel for a second. Yeah, Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. Talking to us from Las this Wages, a, this Nevada. morning coffee antics. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, Pete Best, jeez. You know. Yeah, I figured I haven't heard a Pete Best joke in a while, so I throw him in is there. Is he still alive? Yes, he is. And from what I heard, he's not doing so badly because when they started releasing those Beatles anthology collections in the 90s, he was on one of them, at, it was just released as bootlegs before, and he, they paid him this time, so he made a few mil, finally. Oh, oh really? Yeah, he did. He ended up doing okay. He was in his sixties or something. But, but just uh, off I one, think they finally off, paid him off. Off Don't one. Call me on this, but I, I heard it. Off, I heard it through the grapevine. Off one song. No, they did. He was on the Decca sessions. They were right. for Decca Records right. on January first, nineteen sixty-two, and they recorded them. And those have come out on bootleg records. And when something comes out on a bootleg, you don't get a penny for it. But the Beatles, uh, whatever the company is, Apple Core or whatever it is, finally released them. Uh, some of those songs on one of the anthology collections when they started releasing those in the 90s. And uh, he was on some of them, so they finally paid the old boy. So it was good for him, good for the old chap. Yeah, well, they, they did those. Those Decca sessions were done in Germany. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember the name of the producer. He was uh, yeah, also... Ach, die, ich, die, 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 die. No, no, he was... He, 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 no, he was also an artist on the on the label. He had an orchestra. And uh-huh. I'm trying to remember his name now. Eh, everything's starting to fail. With Bert Camford. That's it. You're absolutely right. Bert- I love I'm a big Bert Camford fan. Are you really a big Bert Camford fan? Of course fan? I do. Because when I was a kid, there was a kiddie show on TV called Sandy Becker. And he used that Bert Camford song, African Beat, as his theme song. And then the other one, that happy feeling. That, 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 bum, 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 that, 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 that. And I was a little kid, and I grew up listening to the songs, and I was like, oh, it's Bert well, Kemper. Well, I believe well, Bert Kemper was the producer of those Beatles sessions, and he I actually, did not, didn't he do those? They with, would not see much trouble. I knew they would never make it. I think Ringo was a Jew. Ah. But they did those with Tony Sheridan, right? No, no, they were just the Beatles. It was just uh, the, the four of them would be best. John, Paul, George, and well, Pete. But, but the Tony Sheridan stuff... Uh, like ain't she sweet? Wasn't that Tony Sheridan? I think I think those were German. I think I, the Decca sessions. I don't know if they were German or English or whatever the hell they were. But no, they, the, the, they, Decca, the Decca auditions were just the, the four Beatles. They were in that Pete period Best. of time where they would do anything to get work. Like they'd probably be in a porno oh, sure. film if they had a chance. Oh, sure. I guess it's like yeah. a little porno film from 1961 with the Beatles in it. You know, well, right? if you were to look at them back then, you know, you wouldn't think much of them. I mean, they're playing in a in a strip joint. You know, no, and, and they, if you listen to the Decca sessions, they're not really that powerful. So you know, there, there's some stuff there, but uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have signed. So them what happened? Day, so. What happened when they got signed by Polydor? It was a Polydor in uh, England. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think it was <laughs> some, Polydor. Some yeah. label. I don't know. Yeah. Then the, and then they did all the stuff. They then sold that to Capital. Okay. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah, it was Polydor. I think it was Polydor. 
I'm trying to remember. I think Father, so. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. I remember one of the early singles was on Swan Records. Oh, well, no, what no, kid, what happened like is they were cents. all they were all one label in England. But uh-huh. when they sold it to the United States, they were just trying to sell Beatles to some yep. label. And yeah, so there was VJ, there was uh Swan, there was one on VJ and, and there was one on Swan. And later uh-huh. on, they got the rights to put those on the albums. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, she, uh, she loves you was yeah. It was uh, I think Swan, wasn't it? That was Swan. Yeah, with I'll get you on the other side. I remember getting back. That's yeah, the one I and then Sam the VJ. Like v, what was the one on VJ? Uh, uh, might have been please please me. I think you're right. Not for me to you. I'm I think sure you're right. Though, and that was their that, that was their first hit in England. Was please please me. So. Uh-huh. Um, and then all of a sudden, I guess Capital said, well, we'll take them. And they went, well, we'll give you everything, you know. Uh, yeah, sure. But somehow for years, uh, Capital couldn't release, you know, She Loves You as an example. Uh-huh. And then I think they uh, they got the rights. They bought them up or something. Because I mean, what was Swan as a record company? VJ was fairly big at the time. Uh, uh, but, yeah. But Swan wasn't, you know. No. So, in fact, who the fuck was Swan Records? I don't know, but they had a Beatles record, and a little they, seven-year-old Stephen Pearl bought it. <laughs> Boy, are we are we talking about Minutiae, or are we talking about Minutiae? Minutiae. That's a, that's Minutiae. a boy band, isn't it? Minutiae. 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 Yeah. Anyway, you know, I mean... Um, yeah, yeah. You, only you would remember Swan Records. I would, if you hadn't brought it up, I would. I remember have labels. I just remember being you know, young and buy. I just remember when I bought a, I bought a record. I knew I, the label would stick out in my mind. You would have reason. thought that Swan Records would have become a big company after that because they probably sure. sold millions of "She Loves You." I mean, come on, that sure. is that is the quintessential Beatles song. Yep, you know. Sure. Kick ass record, man. The yeah. Early Beatles. Damn. Yeah. If you're going to be a, a show on BBC doing the history of the Beatles, the first record you'll play probably is She Loves You. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, anyway. So, how's your life going out there, Stephen Pearl? Hey, man. Hey, it's all on. I'm trailing. I'm flossing. I'm kibitzing. I'm, uh, I just did like uh, two and a half solid weeks of comedy work, which is good. I'm off this week and enjoying being an off, hanging out with the cats today and, uh, I have the view on TV with no sound on, which is the best way to watch it if you're going to watch it. Yeah. So yeah. And then, you know, so they, they, that's, that's, I'm, I'm really that's one of the few shows on TV with nothing but women on it that you yep. really can't jerk off to. <laughs> True. Well, no, no, no. I disagree. Sunny Hoffman is very, is very lovely. Really? He's very jerk Can off. you jerk off as, to her? As, yeah. as a guy, as a guy whose wife is like staying far, far away at the moment, I, she's very jerk offable, as I used to say when I was single. J- jerk offable? She's very jerk offable. Yeah, Sunny yeah. Hoffman is. Uh, she's a lovely young lady. The others, no, no, thank you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, you want to talk about? They have a show on Fox now. You know, whenever I watch Fox. I feel like I'm a Jew who's like uh, turning in other Jews, you know, to go to the concentration <laughs> camps. Uh, I'm just saying, take but they have a show called the they have a show called uh, um, uh, what the the uh, it was, it's uh, my mind is just going. I mean, I watch it all the time. It's got nothing but women on it, and what what they call one lucky guy. One lucky guy. I've yeah. never heard of that one. And the women, like a musical in the, and the women are lucky guy. The, the women, are, women are all there, but it was hotter when when uh, uh, what's his name, the former head of of Fox, was there because he was so horny he would put like women ah. there with their legs showing and everything. But that that show <laughs> that show couldn't control so gets work. pretty hot as well. Yeah, so, the, why can't I remember the name of it? My God, it's too early in the day for me. I'm too sorry. early. Have some coffee. Put, some uh, I'm having coffee, and it's not. I'm not Everything coming good. up. I'm not coming up with the names. You know, you have yeah. Them. I'll make one up. Nobody's watching anyway. Yeah, but um, I can remember it's they have to watch. They have, He's the guy on right after. Hey, it's him in color. Yeah. In fact, the show. Well, the show's off now, so I can't even go to the TV set and see what it was. You know. Yeah, well, you can go on the old, you can look up old used to be shows, and I'm sure it'll be listed somewhere. Uh, well, I, actually, let me let me look up the Fox. Uh, look up Fox. Okay, news, news. 
okay, and then see what their shows are. That's got to have it, right? Right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Our, oh, Google, every, everything's on the Google search engine. Politics, I found, like, the names of songs uh, I knew, like, had, US one line to like, in the, when I was, like, 10 uh, years old. Well, I, so I, I want to see, oh, personality shows. Here we go. There you go. Uh, the name it, of the show it. is... Um, that's all, something I never heard when I was a kid. Google it. It was always look it up. Yeah. Like it's going to be in the Encyclopedia Britannica. So. Uh, let me see here. What, what's the name of the show? It, it, they don't even have it here. Hell. Well, well, generally, what was it about? Type it in. It, bam. It, uh, it's, the network it, and the, you know, it's, it's a bunch of women. Oh, not the five. That's was it the view? It's not the view. No, it's no, not oh, the, here it is. Here it is. Here it's it is. not the one called uh, Outnumbered. Nice. Outnumbered. Outnumbered, so you got it. Yeah, and then they have these women there. Uh, today on Outnumbered, Harris Faulkner, she's the woman who's like the host of it. Melissa Francis, Kristen Saltis Anderson, and J Jessica Tarlov. Now, it used to be in the days of, uh, of what's his name, the uh, old head of Fox. Um, Horny McHornison. Yeah, you know, well, he's dead now, so it's <laughs> Um, oh, he he used to stock that with like the hottest women going, and you could really sit there and jerk off because they're all sitting there wearing skirts and sitting on a oh, couch. Sure, yeah. So you <laughs> can you can al on Fox, you Jack. can almost see their snatch, almost. Look out! <laughs> you know. Like that Sharon Stone movie. And so I would find myself going there every day just to look at these women. Ah, and who could blame me? And uh, I got to tell you. Uh, they were they were hot. Now oh, one, yeah. one of the hottest women they had they got rid of because she turned in. Uh, uh, Roger Ailes is the guy I'm thinking of. I knew uh -huh. I would get it eventually, folks. Just give me time. At my age, it takes a while. Yeah. Uh, Roger Ailes uh, supposedly she 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 was one of the first people that like turned him in, saying you know. Ah, oh, okay. He came Good. on to me and Good. things like that, and we've never seen her since. I can't remember what her name was, but she was hot. She was just, uh, yeah, she was all tits and, and legs. and oh, she was, I hate to say this because, you know, I feel like a Jew, you know, conspiring <laughs> with the Nazis. Know, yeah. You know, but yep. uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, <laughs> it's, it's fun. Anyway, what so. What do you do? Pretty girl's a pretty girl, even if she's a Nazi cannibal. Uh, dogs. Yeah, what do yeah. you do? Pretty girl's a pretty girl. Yeah, they, there's nothing much to jerk off on TV to anymore. Yeah. Though, I, you, know? <laughs> um, you know, you can't jerk off to This Is Us. You know, it's impossible. You know, so, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, um, um, uh, well, anyway, that's what network television should do if they really want to survive is more, more sexy women on the air. I know yeah, this is sexist, exactly. folks. Right? This is sexist, right? Of course, incredibly sexist. Totally un PC. I'm, so, I'm, a, I'm acting but, like a. Luckily, we, we don't have any careers to ruin, so come yeah, and get us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out me. Come on, please yeah. out me. I need the publicity. There is nothing you can do to me that show business and Castro have not already done. No, if, if, <laughs> if, 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 uh, if, the, uh, if the Me Too movement wants to out me, I could use the yeah. publicity. <laughs> You know, that's how desperate just, just I am. My name right. Yeah. I mean, you know, well, I mean, do you find that you've had to, I asked uh, Slate this, that you've had to adapt your act to kind of oh, stay yeah. away I've, from I've it. had to edit a couple of things out and cut a couple of things out that I still think are funny. And I looked at what I was doing in like 1983 and I probably couldn't do like two thirds of it anymore. So things have changed. I can still be funny. And edgy and weird, and uh, and like you get stared at too, can, of course. Can, but, you, uh, can you give you know, me? Yeah, a, yeah. There's some of the stuff I had to get rid of. So. <laughs> can you give me an example? Oh, uh, uh, you know, I don't even. <laughs> some of them were jokes. Uh, maybe some gay jokes I had, which oh, were, the, it was like blackface from the seventies. You know, it was acceptable. Right. Blackface was acceptable at one time and always wrong. And these are always wrong, but they were acceptable. And I was young, and who knew better? But uh, you know, I, <laughs> just some some of those I had dropped and. Uh, you know, and that uh, yeah. maybe Jeffrey Dahmer wasn't such a bad guy that I've dropped, and uh, but that's something else. And, and uh, Hitler, evil Antichrist, or uh, merely misunderstood, that bit I had to drop. And uh, well, no, my, I'm kidding about my that. My feeling but, is, uh, if, Al yeah. if Al Jolson were still alive, he'd get fired for being in blackface. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> <I know. Yeah. laughs> Nah, I'm never gonna get that gig at the Apollo Theater if I say what this material say. Oh. Well, you know, you know what gets me is 
it, and it's all been this whole thing about political correctness lately, is is something that you did years ago that was acceptable that when you did it, okay. So now you're not doing it anymore, but you're being held to account for it. Exactly. And and sure. that I find kind of wrong because you were given the permission at one time. Yeah. You know, now maybe we could say, you know, you you're you're an asshole for even taking the permission, <laughs> but sure. nevertheless, you know. I mean, I remember when I was doing the show in San Francisco, and I think you remember me saying this, that uh, one night I was watching TV and they showed some people with AIDS. Uh-huh. And it was horrendous. I mean, with the sores uh-huh. all over them and the, the oh, fact oh, that they, yeah. looked, they looked really at death's door, which they were in those days. And this yeah. was San Francisco. And I had comedians coming on and they'd make AIDS jokes. Yeah. You know? And uh, I thought about it, and I came in the next day, and I told every comedian that was on, no more AIDS jokes. It's, yeah, I remember it's that. It's not, you remember? It's not yeah. funny. But, you know, a couple of weeks earlier, it was funny. You know, I was exactly. saying, oh, yeah, what exactly. the hell? Hey, AIDS, ha, 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 you know? Uh, sure. So, uh, you know, you do come to your, hopefully you do come to your senses about certain things. Sure. I yeah. only heard one good AIDS joke. I said this. I you can this AIDS joke you could say on the air. Uh-huh. Okay, You're here he ready for it. What's the worst thing about getting AIDS? I ha- wish I knew. I don't know. Having to tell your parents you're Haitian. <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Now that's a the, funny it, joke. there is nothing in there that is uh, homophobic. However, nope. it is racist against Haitians. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But racism oh, like was it. better than homophobia. And so I was, we were very, uh, you know, in the beginning we thought, oh, this AIDS thing, boy, there's, 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 a, there's a joke there. Because even the name AIDS, oh, we can make jokes about that, you know. Sure. Uh, uh, I had a joke, one of my favorite jokes. I used to do. I got big laughs. If I do it now, it, it, gets, it gets cast. But I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. I can't do it. But the times have changed. You, a quick impression of a Jewish child molester. Hey, little girl, want to buy some candy? So there it is. So. <laughs> but you can't use it anymore. So. Hey, little girl, you want to buy some candy? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just Sometimes I change to a Jewish dialect and I can get by with it. But well, that's, that's a very funny. You're, you're, you're treading on your you're, you're river dancing on a bike. It's, a, it's a very like funny joke, today. and it's too bad you can't do it anymore. You know, I know times have changed, and I think Letty Bruce would have liked that joke. And <laughs> he probably would have. Well, you, you know, there was a that. time. There was a time you, you can't do anything that is perceived as racist or anti-Semitic yep. or whatever. And yet, yep. if you remember vaudeville, for instance, vaudeville acts uh-huh. basically were dialect acts. You know, yeah. people sure. doing Jewish dialects, for instance, and they weren't Jewish, you know? Yep. Um, and and comedians like Step and Fetch It, who was a great comedian, you know, sure. and he invented this character that became a stereotype, not because he invented the character, but because other people then tried to imitate his success. Yeah, that's true. And so the guys who who created the stereotype were Willie Best and Mantan Moreland and people like that sure. who were trying to capitalize on on uh-huh. uh, you know if, if uh, uh, he had been the only guy to do that character, um, yeah. then he probably would be thought wonderfully today. I hated what they did to Amos and Andy, the TV show. I thought it was wonderful. I think it's still yeah. when I look at it, there's nothing racist. About Amos and Andy. Nope, I've watched a bunch of those old shows. With Amos and Andy. Well, it was the only uh, it was yeah. the only representation of blacks on television. Where yes, the main characters, a couple of characters, were buffoons, but this was a yeah. situation comedy. So was Lucy. Lucy was a bad representation no, of I've women. Oh man, all you know the, the three Stooges, the, the, yeah, and Hardy. Yeah, but so the, all they're making fun of white people because they're playing stupid guys. But the rest of the characters. We're very straight. There were black lawyers, black doctors. You sure. know, Sapphire was a very reasonable woman. It was the kingfish yep. that was the asshole. 
you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and every every group of people has an asshole in it, so you know whether whatever color they are or there. Yeah. So you know they, they have the asshole. Right. Every yeah. Tyler Moore, Ted Knight, and a Ted Baxter. So, oh, he's making fun of white people. He's a real asshole. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it was, it was a good sitcom. The question really remains. I mean. Uh, uh, you know, we used to have dialect comics, and now everything, it's like almost, I, I don't know how comedians are funny these days, you know? I mean, you can't make fun of anything. Wasn't the, oh, no, I know. Wasn't, don't use verbs. Action words scare these people. So, yeah. Well, one of the Very things scary. about comedy is you made fun of people, you know? Exactly. And part of that was, you know, you made, uh, I mean, Rickles, hell, Rickles couldn't work today, you know? Uh-huh, sure. Oh, yeah. You know, very scary, very scary. A lot of guys, can, you know, guys like Kennison was starting out today, or uh, Pryor even, or Carlin. You know, they probably uh, edgy Carlin, edgy Carlin, not early Carlin. They probably wouldn't be able to get anything. Well, so, uh, times Car- have changed. Carlin was observant as a comedian, and I don't yeah. know if he would have the same problem. You know, yeah. uh, he would probably know how to deal with this, actually in a humorous uh, way about, you know, the Me Too movement and so on. Yeah. You know, but uh, I just don't, I I really, you know, I, I just... Times have changed. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, you know, I I I understand, you know, and I, and yep. I, and, and certainly most of the things that, that people have been complaining about, like, for instance, um... Uh, the women's movement today, I agree with. I mean, I agree because I've always agreed with it. I've never oh, sure. been. I've never been. I mean, I used to play a sexist on radio, but yeah. I, I never really. Not had, really a sexist, but he plays one on the air. I so. never really have been in my private life. You know, uh-huh. I always treated women with great respect and and, sure. and never forced anything on them, and. Um, was my father taught me to be what he called the perfect gentleman? You to treat women with a certain amount of respect, you know. And yeah. so that was my whole life. And so I don't think that I, you know, I don't think there's a woman out there that could make a claim against me. I mean, about uh-huh. anything that I did wrong during that time, unless they were some crazed nut, you know, who who has a, uh, uh, you know, a grudge. But I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, uh, I never had sex with a woman who didn't want to have sex. Uh, so, yeah. So it made made it much harder for me to get sex. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, I well, mean, I mean, I got to tell you, but I got to tell you. <laughs> I mean, uh, I understand why Harvey Weinstein did what he did. He was ugly. It was the only way he could get he was, laid. He was a fat, ugly bastard. Of course, he had to. He, he had was to disgusting. <laughs> there's no, the business, son of a bitch. There's no woman unless she felt there was a part in her for her and Shakespeare in love exactly that that that, <laughs> that she would go down on that guy. I mean, the penis must have been a disgusting thing. Oh God! There. Normally, he couldn't get laid in a women's prison with a fistful of pussy oh, and a bottle geez. of tequila. But you know, I gotta tell you. So what is what is Weinstein's great crime it was that he was ugly because (laughs) if that woman went up to a hotel room and the guy in that room was oh let's say George Clooney (laughs) there'd be no threats there oh no she'd be doing high fives the next day with all her girlfriends (laughs) you know Uh, I think it's the fact that the guy was ugly that made it particularly disgusting exactly Um, yeah uh, you know, and Bill Cosby was disgusting because he felt, you know, Cosby could have gotten laid easily without uh-huh. the use of any drugs. Okay. This yeah. is what I don't get because he was, a, especially young Cosby, was a really good looking guy, you know. Exactly. But that, if, a, if a woman was willing, though, he probably didn't turn him on. He had to, you know, knock him out or whatever. But, yeah. Like, but he still had to knock him out. And I'm through. going, what, what's with that? I mean, I can understand the older Cosby doing it, but I don't understand the younger Cosby doing it. And that goes, his behavior went back to, you know, I spy for crying out loud, you know? Uh-huh. Sure. So I, I never could quite understand that. Uh, I mean, if you suddenly You're not heard to understand, if you do understand it, then something's wrong with you because these guys are completely screwed up. 
Yeah. And that's what turns them on, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh, they remember the old show Dallas? Uh, JR, man, he could get any woman he wanted, but if they were willing, he didn't turn them on. He had to have a woman that didn't want a few of them, so he forced himself on it. Yeah. It yeah. turned them on, so he was, he was a fucked up guy, just like it caused so, me mean, and many others. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we you know, you need, uh, we need to, uh, we need to put this in perspective that if, if, exactly. you know, if, if uh, George Clooney patted you on the ass, you go, oh, hi, George. <laughs> You know, I mean, me, I wouldn't know. I go, what are you doing, George? Stop it! <laughs> but if it's uh, if it's but, if it's Harvey Weinstein, you go, listen, you fat fuck, get your hands off of me! Right? Yeah, you fucking hairy ass, you son of a fucking bitch. bastard, you son of a bitch! Yeah, bastard! Hey. Get away! Get those hairy hooks off me, you bastard! Oh, quickly before we go, because we run out of time here. I, I we, we did a thing uh, to, and put him on and talked to him and do more with him, Steve Kravitz. Um, oh, yeah, he's out here. He, who's living out there in Boulder City. Boulder City, that's right. The night that's, of entertainment. That's being lovely. The, yeah, he's, he's playing at the Boulder City Hilton. What? You know, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> the Boulder City East. Yeah. Bill Graham's Boulder City East. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, but I'm, uh, but uh, he's, still, he's still funny, you know? He's yeah. still funny. Yeah. But um, so do you see him often because he's nearby? Or? No, not, re- not a little bit, not really. But uh, you know, uh, now and then, I don't, yeah. I don't, unless I'm out clubbing and doing my thing. I don't. I'm just at home with the cats during the day. Really, don't socialize. Well, you're getting to be an old man. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Stephen Pearl. Say goodbye. Thank you, thank you. Get my good side on this show. My good side. My left side. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was Stephen Pearl. Ah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, you know, uh, everything's wrong tonight. Everything is wrong tonight. My picture is too bright. Why? Because I think at some point I had to... Watch this, folks. This is going to really... This is going to really get you. Uh, when this thing comes on, I'm going to I'm going to adjust my camera. Okay, a little technical thing here for you. Uh, let me see here. Let me go down here. Uh, come on. Uh, there we go. Wait a minute. Here, I got to figure out where we are. There we go. Okay. Now watch it. This I, you're going to lose the sides. Boom. There we go. You lost the sides. Okay. Now I got to go up here. And I gotta turn this on to wide screen. See, okay. And then I've got to go over here to advance. Now, bet you, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. I gotta bring the uh, the uh, every, every time this I return this uh, t- this on this computer on. It changes all the all the things that I've got here, and uh, you know. So anyway, and t- every night I've tried to play the new opening. And something has happened. I haven't had the, the audio up on it or whatever. And tonight I play the damn thing, and, and the sound starts cutting out. So let me just play it to make sure, okay? And also because I put so much work into it. Uh, let me play the opening to the show once again to see if the sound's okay. There we go. There's the music. That's ah, fine. Now it's fine. Earlier it was cutting out all the time. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Is that that's the city so nice they named it twice, right there, New York, New York. Okay, anyway, that's our. Uh, okay, it worked. It worked okay, and I fixed the cameras, and we're all, all okay. Except when I go like this, you notice it audio video goes down oh well i give up i give up uh this is just too much work for me (laughs) no it's just that for some reason i'm on this drug the this uh, lyrica thing and it makes me a little loopy i can't you know i i i have not i can't get things to i've changed the whole way i do the opening of the show because i've got to go to that video instead of just playing the music and I just can't, never can get it right every night. And then, then I came on here tonight. And uh, what do we have? Uh, we have uh, problems with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the video on the camera. So you know, 
Every time I turn off the machine and turn it back on again, I got to reset that, and then I forget to do that, and it's, you don't want to hear that, do you? You don't really care how the cow, how, where the steak comes from uh, or how the cow was killed. You just want to eat the meat, right? Well, this is the meat, folks. This is the meat. Anyway, our lines are open. They have been open for a while now. If nobody calls in the next three seconds, I'm going to hang, I'm going to end the show and go to sleep because I'm, <laughs> I'm beat tonight for some reason and i'm i'm halfway through my cup of coffee right you know so and i'm not even it's not even waking me up okay so well, here we go here comes charlie we can always count on charlie to be uh like one of the first callers in here Oop, and it, then he has to turn his audio down okay Oh, and here, 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 here comes Kathleen tonight. Oh, and uh, let me see here. Uh, hello there, Kathleen. Are you there? Okay. Yes. Let, let me uh, let me put you uh, in uh, one of these little uh, things here. Uh, what name are you using now? Are you using? Uh, hold on a second. Are you using Bob Live Bob of uh, Cube Kazoo? <laughs> Bob Q Kazoo. Okay, well, we have that. Okay, and then here comes Phil. Uh, let me see here. I got to get Phil in here. Uh, he would be scuba okay. diver. Uh, there he is, scuba diver. Okay, so now we got we got three people, and we are ready to roll, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And and look, Schmooty's even got a camera camera in a different place so that it, it she's got <laughs> really good video. I mean, she's really becoming a what? pro. Are you becoming a real pro with it? What is that? Why? I'm in my bar. Wait a minute. I'm on the wrong thing here. See, I pushed the wrong thing, and then we're all fucked up. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're fine. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, I know what it is. I didn't put Phil in the right. Oh, hold on a second. I'm just, I'm so out of it today. It's ridiculous. Okay. I can't do anything right. Okay, is Phil there? There's Phil. Yeah, okay. that's a sixth grade. Okay. Hmm? Oh, you got two uh, schmooties. No, I, I, not anymore. I, you're, you're, oh. a bit, you're behind, huh? Phil. Just don't even tell me what I'm doing wrong. I no, know I'm, I'm not doing. behind. I'm Jewish. Last night, I didn't even have her on for the first half of the show because I didn't bring that screen up. I'm, I'm so out of it these days. I need some kid to start running this stuff for me. Six-year-old. Huh? Yeah, what did, uh, who, who's that comedian? Uh, yeah, get me a, you know, so easy a six-year-old can do it. He says, well, get me a six-year-old. Yeah, right, right. What was that commercial where they used to say, so easy a six-year-old yeah. can do it? Uh, Geico. Uh, well, actually, I think you're right. A caveman. A caveman so could a caveman. do it. Yes. Yes, a caveman right. could do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Their commercials are the best commercials on television. <laughs> No, yeah. they are because I yeah. despise commercials. But consistently, they're good. They got a yeah. new one now about some roommates, and they, you know, they've got themselves another roommate, and it's a witch. Uh, <laughs> and, I haven't seen that. And they're, one, but they're abusing and, and she, some and she's little, got little creature. She's got uh, about something like about twenty different cats in the room, and then she goes over to one of the roommates and turns her into a cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. No, I haven't seen it either. Oh, what, what? What? Is your son throwing something at you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, punk you know kid. what? He sees all those DVDs in the background, and the first time he saw them, he damn near had a seizure. He just <laughs> wanted to. He just wanted to somehow just genie bink himself over there and start mulling through <laughs> all the DVDs. Yeah. Well, uh, you see, you can't do that. Well, the thing is, these are not all of them. I actually have yeah. put a lot of them into video files, and they're Holy in shit. boxes in the they're in boxes in the uh, uh, what do you call it in the uh, in the closet. So these oh. are the ones I haven't put on file yet, and I probably oh. never get around to them. Life's too short, you know. Show oh, man, he was talking about hey, you know, when can we go to Uncle Alex's and see how yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know who you can leave them to. We got a guest room so here. So they won't wind up in a dumpster. Huh? What? You, now you know who you can leave them to so they won't wind up in a dumpster. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, uh, 
You know, uh, what happened was, I was Shecky used to say to me, you know, he says, when I die, I got so much of these, so many DVDs and stuff, they're all going to wind up in the dumpster. Somebody's going right. yeah, to throw them too, in the dumpster. Yeah. And we were talking about what's worth money and what isn't worth money. He just sold his film library. Now, these are celluloid film reels, okay? Wow. He sold his entire collection and I, for an incredible amount of money. To the, 80 cents? No, to the, to the, um, <laughs> uh, to the, what do you call it? The, uh, what's the thing in Washington, D.C.? So you film society. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the Library of Congress. The Library of yes. Congress bought his entire oh, collection. Oh, wow. For a princely sum, I might add. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, you know, uh, I guess I can get him to take me out to dinner. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if he got rid of his library of celluloid, I'm sure he doesn't want your library of DVDs. Oh no, he's got he, he's got so many DVDs it makes this look small. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's got them piled up everywhere. But we the thing we were discussing was tonight that they're not worth anything yeah. unless they're Criterion. No, that was the old no. The, and first edition, I mean, I have some Chow Yun Fat DVDs that on eBay go for 400 bucks. Really? I'll tell you, I do have one DVD here that's worth 300 I know. And it's, uh, it's uh, a, a history of silent European films. And somehow they, they stopped making it. And uh, I've seen it go for as much as $300, you know. So the Chow Yun Fats are going for that? Really? Yes. I still have the. I have all my Chow Yun fats. I have the same ones. Which ones? I mean, are you we talk? both remember when I'd leave your place and we'd go. You'd ask me, "Are you going to stop by Tower Records?" Yes. Yeah. Such a dangerous place to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to go down there, and I used to buy my Chow Yun fat. Is that on column A or column B? Uh, it's in <laughs> Columbine. It's a gun thing. Anyway, uh, 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 the. Um, Chow Yun Fat. So which Chow Yun Fats are worth so much money? Because I have I have them here. Most of them. Really? Why? Do you think there'd be tons of them out there? I have no idea because they're Criterion for some reason. No, they weren't Criterion. Not the Chow yes, Yun they, Fats. The ones I have are. Really? Yes. Some and you bit. gave them to me. Did I? Yes, for Christmas gifts and such. I want them back. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want him back. What are you doing? You know. Really? There weren't any criterion child young fats that I know of. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, she'll be right back. She's gonna prove it to me. You know. She's she and she probably knows exactly where they are too, you know. Anyway, uh, just for people who uh, don't, uh, you don't normally call, you can call. You know, it would not be a bad idea if you gave it a try. Look, Schmoody tried, and now she's a pro at it. After two nights, you know, she's got a nice background. She's got the, the lighting's better. Uh, the camera's in the right place. Uh, you know, so you too that, can become a professional. Is, is that a red screen? Yeah, I mean, in the case of Phil, he's off screen, kind of. You, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just sideways. Yeah, you're kind of sideways. That'd be kind of a jaunty look for you tonight. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. She's she's come. She'll come back any minute now and prove me wrong. Is my camera yellow? No. Why oh, should it be uh, yellow? Jaunt this. Uh, no, jaunt. no, no. Okay. Now show me this. Show me this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have that one. Maybe. Thank maybe, you. Maybe mine's a Criterion. Though maybe yes. mine are Criterions. Yeah. Criterion yes. Collection. Yeah. Hey, one of the best Chinese movies. Remember this one, Expect the Unexpected? No, I don't remember that. They all died. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, no, but 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 wait a minute. Now, uh, I do have those Criterion. I guess they were Criterions then, and I just yes. didn't realize it. Yeah. Wow. wow. Amazing. That's you know, a... I liquidate other people's estates, and it's mostly my family. She does, that. She does just... that by killing them. Anyway, I go do. ahead. Yeah. Shh. Yeah. Don't tell Phil. He's yeah. a cop. <laughs> Not for the last 15 years. Oh, thank Buddha. Okay. Uh, uh, no, my bestest best friend, 
her husband, bless his heart, was a bit of a hoarder. So when I started liquidating his estate, I mean, it was all these computer games from the 80s and 90s still in the original big boxes. And on eBay, I was getting 100 to $200 for these stupid things. Really? Wow. Yes, and some of them were still sealed. Hmm. That means you got to spend your time listing them and doing all of that shit. Wait, I'd rather well, just throw said, them away. When I was living with Alex, you know, he let me stay with him rent free. And that's when I started eBay when I was selling my watches. Within six months, 70 grand, paid off my bills and bought my house. Mm. Yeah, she did that all selling what? Watches? Yes. Gucci, Tag Hour, Raymond Weil. Yes. Yeah. Counterfeits or real? No, real. No, real. I would never, no, I would never sell counterfeit. No. I'm all about customer service. Right. She would go out to their houses and repair the watch for them. Yeah. <laughs> they were all brand new. And then, you know, in 2000, the dot-com bomb came. Mm -hmm. Everything went down, and then it slowly came back up. But by that time, eBay was saturated. So that's when I started selling, because a lot of the stuff I have is from the 1700s mm -hmm. to the early 1980s. Wow. Wow. You know something? I, uh, I I I never bought anything on eBay until I bought I bought a what was it a, a it was DAT a, player? I need a DAT player. Yeah. Yeah. And then the worst purchase I made on eBay was I paid thirty three hundred dollars for the trash can computer I'm using here, the Mac. The worst purchase? Yes, it was the worst purchase. Unless How I got well, it was the worst purchase okay. because everything in it. Went bad. Yeah. So Bill. I took I took it down to took it down to uh, Apple, and uh, they uh, they said, oh well, it's, uh, you just need new uh, graphics card in there or something like that, and they put a new graphics card and the thing brought it back. The thing wouldn't work. It was still fucked. So they took it back and they said, well, we're gonna have to send this down to Texas, but we have a policy here at Apple that if we gave it back to you and said it was fixed and it wasn't fixed, the rest of the repair is on us. So after about $7,000 worth of repairs, I got it back. I had to send it back a second time. I got it back. Everything in this, in this trash can is completely new or refurbished. I don't know which, but it's all been replaced. And uh, that was all for only 300 bucks that I spent on the original <laughs> repair. So, I hate Apple. It sounds too much like asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be such an Apple. Well, for what I do, it's a great machine. It's a, right. I can't. PCs are do not do video very well. What do you have, Charlie? I just got a PC. You got a PC. I don't do much anything except uh, Microsoft Word and Excel. Well, yep, exactly. Yeah, if you do that, fine. But I do all this video editing. And uh, the only thing you really can use is a Mac for that, you know. Piece remember when can, when I first hooked up with you, and remember when those, um, what was it, the, oh, God, I can't think of what they were called. So we would get on the computer, and I would talk, and I'd say all this sexy stuff, and then they'd say, turn on your camera, and it would be you lip syncing. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm trying to remember this. Avatars. That was it. Avatars. Oh, avatars. Oh, yeah. So we'd be at your place, and I'd be saying all this stuff, and the guy would start typing in, hey, you know, turn on your camera. And we'd turn it on, and it would be you lip syncing to whatever I was saying. And then we'd laugh and hang up on them and go to the next victim. Well, there were a lot of people uh, trolling for, for, for sex video. Oh, so you know, so so they would they would call. So this was in the early days. I can't remember what it was, where we even went to see this stuff, but these people were online, and then they would just start fucking because they <laughs> wanted people to see them fuck. You know. Sometimes we get on your computer and we just go like www.kissmyass.com yeah. and we just see what came up. Yeah, but I mean, it was amazing. Uh, these these people. 
there was this one site we went to all the time or one place yep. we went to, like a chat room or whatever, yes. <laughs> where these people, you'd go there and they're sitting there naked and blowing each other, you know, and going, hey, you want to join us? You know? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But we'll watch. <laughs> yep. And then well, I remember when Satellite first came out, we were able to put that dish between the two apartments. We'd have to climb out your window. I got a uh, I got a dish, <laughs> dish. Yes. Yeah, and and I had this, I had this space uh, the, uh, right outside my window in my apartment. In fact, I I rented that apartment for that reason. You could walk yes. out the window, which was one of these swinging windows. Yeah. And. and and uh, I had a, I had a, 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 what do you call it, barbecue out there? Yes. Okay. Uh, because it was like a little deck. And what I did is I, I put up a, there was just a small sliver between the buildings, but it was just right for hitting the satellite. Yes. So I started getting dish. And the reason I got dish is because I could get all the West Coast feeds. Yes. And get the shows three hours early. Yep. You can't do that anymore. They stopped letting them do that, but. No, nope. we did. I remember that. In '97 when UPS went on strike. We found out at 9 p.m. because it happened midnight East Coast, and you looked at me and you're like, "Fuck, you guys are on yeah. strike." And then next but thing you know, my we, pager we is going off. Wa- we could watch. Those were the days when you did watch this normal Letterman. television. You could watch the entire evening programming and uh, Johnny Carson, right? And when he yep. went and off, Letterman. when he went it, when he went off, it was. 9 30. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's off to sleep, you know, you go. So, um, or you could watch something early, like, uh, that had, like, oh, I don't know what it was, something like Lost or something like that. And then, yeah, you could ruin it for everybody else. <laughs> you know, well, remember, we would get the East Coast feed of HBO. Yes. Yes. Right. Well, oh, you, I think gosh. they still do that. I think you can still do that. Yeah. If you subscribe to HBO, I think you can t- you can watch either the West Coast or the East Coast feed. You know, the same you thing know, with we, Showtime. Yeah, we have Sling TV and we love it. I mean, we have like 110 channels, Don't and it's only some, 45 it, bucks a month for some, both the TVs. Sling, what you have? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, uh, Phil has Sling. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Yeah, I use a Roku and Sling. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they uh, channel two uh, KTVU just went off a of sling. They they don't have a deal anymore. Well, really? you know everybody was crying because they also went off a dish. Because on my Facebook, people are like, "Ba ba ba, KTVU is off a dish." I wonder Wah. what happened. It's probably they're probably in contract well, uh, negotiations. Uh, uh, yeah. D- dish has been having pissing matches with a lot of people. They were having a pissing yep. match with CBS for a while. Mm-hmm. And and they, I think there was a CBS. They're a Fox track. station, though. Huh? They're a Fox station. What? Who? Uh, KTVU. No, I'm not talking about KTVU, though. Oh. I'm saying that, that Dish had a pissing match with oh. CBS, and now they're probably having a pissing match with with Fox or with whoever owns uh, KTVU? KTVU. Cox, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I worked for Cox once. When I went to, uh, no, when, excuse me. Yeah, wait, uh, yeah <laughs> no. you were walking down the street. No. Yeah. <laughs> In the Tenderloin, I think. No, I, yeah. was, I, was, I was banished to Florida when I at, at left uh, Live 105. Uh, what was the oh, station? I was that. That when, when I yeah, was the Quake. Live, Live 105, right? Mm-hmm. And, I, or I think it was the Quake. No, 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 no. It was no. Live 105. It was, and then you missed the earthquake, huh? Uh, uh, no, the earthquake. I was here. For the, I, I was here for the earthquake. I was he, not here for the repairs. I, okay. I went over to your apartment right after the earthquake to see if you needed any help. Yeah, yeah. No, I was still around the earthquake. What it was is I got fired by Live 105, and then while I'm looking for a job, the earthquake hits. Now, what are the yeah. chances you're going to be able to get a job after the earthquake hits, you know? So uh, I, I went down to, somebody called me from Florida and said, would you like to come down and do a week down here? We have a guy going on vacation, and we've heard you're terrific. Come on down, do a week for us. So I went down, I did a week, and after the week, they said, want a job? You know, and I went, well, 
I never thought about moving to Florida, but uh, I'm Jewish, and uh, I'm allowed to. You know, I'm, I'm, however, I'm not an old Jew, so I don't know if I belong here, but I'll, I'll come. So I went to Florida. I worked for Cox down there, Cox radio station. And after I did three months and couldn't stand it anymore, I kept referring to them as Cox suckers. Mm-hmm. You know, I worked for those Cox suckers down there. Get it, folks? <laughs> Cox suckers. Where is everybody tonight? Come on. They're all tired. No, why do I do this? You know, when nobody calls, fuck them. You know, I could be, I could do a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't, I don't need this. I can. Nobody's even commenting in the chat room. Nobody. uh, You're right. And yet we got a lot of people watching, and we do have a signal going out on the audio. Wow, that's amazing. What, yeah. what is this? They're all fingerless. Is there something on tonight that I don't know about, like some big game? or? I don't think so. No, no I, don't think so. I know the A's are choking, which is so typical. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that, that's uh, Bay Area, Oakland A's, yeah. right? Yeah. See, I know that. I have yeah. an Oakland A's jacket. You know. Yes. Well, here comes Charlene Martinez. Well, at least uh, she, she took pity <laughs> on us. So, so this is this is history making if you think about it, folks. Because we got two women and two guys. This yeah. is fifty-fifty here. Hey, how about that, huh? Okay, let me see here. Oh, and here comes Tony Magno. Um, let me see. Let me. Well, we still have there. two women and two guys. <laughs> here, here comes Tony Magno. Oh, let me see. Let me put him in the number five slot. Up, 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 up. And let me see here. Oh, uh, no, he, I got to cancel, and then I, I'll try it again. Uh, wait a minute. Where? Come on, Charlie. Cancel. Let me try this again. You got a new name, Tony? It doesn't say Tony Mag- Magno on it. I got a new device, so I don't know why it's not saying it. No, wait oh, a minute. Oh, okay. then uh, is it Webhead? Yeah, that's me. It's my email. That's your Webhead. Okay, Webhead. My brother bought me Web, a device. Webhead. Webhead, webhead. Okay, Spider-Man. let me see here. I push this button. There we go. Oh, look. Would you would you at least get your head in the picture there, <laughs> Tony? You know, I, know, I want to pull my oh. screen down to see him. But, yeah, yeah. Let's just uh, tilt your camera a little bit, or where you're 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 on a notebook, you know right? I'm huh? on a surface. I just got it, so the camera's kind of up. Can you see me like that? You can't tilt it. You can't tilt it. Yeah, really, because it's got the kickstand. And I just started using it. Oh. it to... Put okay. a book on. Well, you're fine. Now yeah. gonna yeah. say a book. By the way, by the way, oh. Schmoody, isn't that the most hideous wallpaper you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> That's bad. I fucking love it. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> the isn't more that... hideous, the better. <laughs> you know, he takes care of his mother. I got he's, paneling too in the other room. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. He's uh, he's uh, a regular Norman Bates. Okay, he's taking care yeah. of his mother, who's who's sickly. You know, I just gave two listen, panels. She may be even dead and stuffed, so far as we know. <laughs> you no, know. she's alive. Huh? We've never seen her. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen her. But that wallpaper would drive you mad enough to want to kill somebody. Hey, have you ever seen the show AP Bio? No. no. Yeah, no. of course you have. That's with uh, what's yes, his name, the comedian. Glenn Howerton. I, I don't uh, watch AP. No, Bio. no, no. It's with uh, uh, what's his Pat name? Pat Oswald. Yeah, Pat Oswald. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you've seen it. No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. No, yeah. I, yeah, he plays a. What's he play? A teacher or the something? The principal. A principal. Yeah. Well, just because Patton's on it doesn't mean I'm going to watch it. You know. <laughs> this is good. Because I'm he'll do, he'll do anything because it's Saturday. You know, he'll take any job <laughs> they throw at him, which I don't blame him. But he's yeah. been, he's been in a lot of shit too. Yeah, what was the one he played a cop? I don't know. AP Bio. I don't know. No, no, no. no are you thinking of the other dude that played the no, cop? No, it's Pat Oswald. Uh, it's not yeah. Oswald. It's Oswald. It you don't Oswald. even watch the motherfucker. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? Because I know how to pronounce his name because he's an f- old friend of mine. Yeah, Did you ever more. see It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Oh, I like, I like oh, that yeah. show. Yes, yeah. I love it. 
Well, I don't watch it anymore because it's gotten kind of a long in the tooth, but there was a period of time there where I would watch that show and go, this is the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Just pure evil. They make the Seinfeld people look like the nicest daycare providers. It wasn't Sons of Anarchy, was it? Uh, No. uh, no. Patton Oswalt was in it? No, he wasn't in it. Very funny. Yeah, sure. I don't are think you thinking so, of Kevin James, who played the cop, mall cop? What, what were you saying, no, Charlie? No, 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 no. He, this, oh. Are you, are yeah. you watching, yeah, Charlie, guy. since you watch Sons of Anarchy, are you watching the new Sons of Anarchy show? No, Fine. no. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, what's his name it, was involved with that? Uh, Howard Levine. He, he used to provide the hookers. <laughs> it, well, it, well, now, let's, who explain, are... let's explain this. <laughs> Did Schmoody know Howard, or uh, he no, was no, gone by then? No, he was gone no. by then. Yeah. But uh, uh, no, Howard um, was, uh, uh, he worked in the porno business. Okay. Yeah. Well, he was a hair cutter. He was a hair cutter. Cu- he was first, your hair cutter. He was my hair cutter uh, years yeah. ago. Anyway. From Vidal Sassoon? I know Ron Jeremy, but I don't from know Vidal him. Oh, well, you remember Ron, Ron Jeremy, don't you? Yes, that was <laughs> Howard, fun. Howard was a trained, Vidal Sassoon trained hair cutter. Well, yes, he was. Good crowd. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Um, Which hair did he cut? <laughs> oh, uh, Alex had plenty of hair back then. <laughs> this is in 1980. <laughs> 81. I had... I had did I did, had I lost all my hair by the time I met you? No, no. No. Oh, okay. Well, so what are you making, making a big deal about? Which you hair know, did he I, cut? Now I you can almost, say what I hair did he cut. Too. I, I had just like turned drugs. 18 oh. when I met you, and I'm 65 now. And you wow. had you had hair down to your shoulders. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, the day I met you, I had breakfast at your apartment, and Naomi Page, Naomi Do- uh, Page was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she made me breakfast, but uh, so I've known him. Since, she made uh, me crazy, but yeah, anyway, I'm sure yeah. she did. But she was gorgeous. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyway, let's see. I've known you since 19, uh, 1972 or three. Yeah, I don't remember you. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> I really don't remember you. He doesn't you you, you, you claim you know me, but I just don't remember you. Okay, so. No. <laughs> you know, you I know, know you hung out uh, almost every I, day I, for two years. I know you from now. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of these days, I have to go to my ex-wife's house and get all my pictures so uh, right. you could see what I looked like in 1980. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, anyway, so um, where were we? Oh, yeah. So Howard Levine went out and he got porno actresses for. Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Because yeah. they needed women to play the strippers at the bar and things like that. And so that's what he. And they also uh, developed some sort of porno business at one time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as part of the plot. Yeah. Yeah. So they needed actresses who wouldn't mind working nude and acting like they were fucking. So. Yeah. Which, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what they do in normal porno films is act like they're fucking because, you know. Well, don't they? <laughs> They do, but you know what? Mm-hmm. I, I have often felt about oh, porn. Not on Midnight Blue, though. No. Uh, what, <laughs> no, what uh, What I always felt about porn was is that it shouldn't be considered film. It should be considered a documentary. Because, mm-hmm. for instance, I make a movie about uh, some bad guys, and they go out, they rob a bank, and they kill people. Well, they don't really kill people when they make the film, right? Yeah. It's all it's all phony. It's you know squibs with the blood coming out, and it's phony guns with blanks in it and everything. When you're doing a porno film, they're really having sex. Okay, yeah. so aren't you more like a nature life photographer when you're doing that? Y- you know, your, your son's your in ex- the room. Wait a minute, your son's in the room, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's doing all these gyrations and cracking up as you're narrating this. And I'm trying to get him to come around, and he's just being straight nasty. <laughs> Your ex, Susan, used to uh, uh, say that there was only like three or four words in, in a porno film. And she would, uh, she, she'd repeat them, and, uh, in, and she'd try to speed them up. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's yeah. even funnier. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, anyway, so uh, um, anyway, uh, that's what it is about Ed Levine. He he wasn't really supplying them with hookers. He was supplying them with porno actresses who you consider hookers. Uh, 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 <laughs> that's porno actresses to be on Sons of Anarchy. But now they have this yeah. other show, Mayans, right, Charlie? Is it good? Charlie? It's about Mexicans. Yeah, have you oh, seen that, Charlie? Trump's I don't know. Watch that. Mexican I don't biker know. gang. Oh, you don't watch that one, but you watch Sons of Anarchy, right? No, I've never watched them. Oh, you before. never did. Oh, I thought you said you did. Oh, okay. What What's Mayans on? Mayans is <laughs> just it's another it's another club. You know? Oh yeah, but what channel? Or... Same channel, FX. same of FX. 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 Yeah. Oh, all right, I'll have yeah. to check it out. I used to have a Harley, but I didn't fly any colors. Oh yeah, FX. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, FX. <laughs> yeah. I have a Harley and I fly colors. FX is nice. a real, you know, FX is really a really good channel. I mean, they do a lot yes. of very experimental out there stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't That's know. That's American. Did Art anybody, did anybody here right? ever see Legion? Did you? My brother watches. He loves it. That was the strangest show and the most artful show ever done on you, television. I knew somebody that had one on their skin. Part of X Men. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. Thank you. What? That's cerebral. What the hell? The, the the kid is shouting from the side. There. Yes. Shouted it, man, cerebral. No, <laughs> Put him on camera or come here. You know, that's fine. Give he him his won't. Own. As soon as I come here, he's out the door. Oh, uh, he doesn't like to be on camera. I should turn it so that he has to be on camera. Uh-huh. <laughs> I remember oh, that it. house. You went to the bathroom. I remember that house. Yep. Yep. She's been living in there for how long have you been there now? 19 years. It's 19 almost years. paid off. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, where was I? So, um, is there anything to talk about tonight? Oh, yeah. Actually, what? Trump, Trump, I'm just reading on the news. He signed an executive order expanding Medicare. I didn't read the article. Uh, his executive order said that you can't cut Medicare. Oh, he's he says he's going to make sure that it's out of the argument. It can't be touched. It can't be cut. That's okay. a positive for the guy. So, am I, I, I? Did he do something I liked? Yeah, it looks I think that he way. Might have. Yeah. yeah. Huh? He must really be guilty, Alex. He must really be yeah. guilty. He needs people on his <laughs> side now. Hold on, she's calling me now. What? Push her oh, down the oh, stairs. See, his mother's calling him. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I got to tell you. <laughs> Tony is the strangest human being we've ever had on this program. Hey, Schmoody, how do you like that wallpaper? Look at I that like wallpaper. Tony. Uh, look, look at the wallpaper. Look at that wallpaper. Look at that wallpaper. I love it. Now, if you had that yeah. wallpaper in your house for the last 20 years, you would have killed somebody by now. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? Hey, we had wallpaper like that when I was growing up. Oh, yeah, really? that was 1915. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it was in. You know, any wallpaper that has the same pattern over and over and over and over and over, it, it will drive you, it will slowly drive you crazy. Hey, what, just as long as the furniture doesn't match the wallpaper and the <laughs> curtains don't match the wallpaper, it is all good. I knew a woman like that. I'm trying to remember, was it you, I, was it you or was it, was, <laughs> was it my other ex-girlfriend? that I was in Paris with at the end of a vacation, and we just decided to take the cheapest hotel we could take. And we wound up in this room where the wallpaper was the same on all sides and the ceiling. <laughs> and it, 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 it was driving me crazy. I was just sitting in there going, going You were lost. Going bad. Just Were batty. you committed at that point? <laughs> Like a Twilight Zone episode. No, really. I mean, it was it was just it was horrendous, and there were no windows in the in the room. And the... they call that a sanitarium, not a hotel. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I only had to stay in it one night because I was just there to wait to take the plane to go That's back to the United States. You thought it was States. one night. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't <laughs> think it was a week. Totally. Was it Thorazine or something wears off? Yes. And... <laughs> I, I don't think it was you that I was with on that trip. I think it was, uh, I think it was Xanthi who was on that trip with me. But anyway, so um, where are we in this wonderful world of uh, of Trump? So Trump uh, went. I saw something about Executive the Medicare. Yeah. Why is he doing it? 
Yeah, here, here, here comes the it off the. Uh, here comes hey, the there's the prodigal son. Wow. Almost wait, saw. Wait, 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 come on, come on. Shoulder. Oh, look! Now we've got look. We got a shadow of him. Look at that. <laughs> it's <laughs> like we have a shadow. It's, it's like, like Alfred, uh, Hitchcock. Who, who, Alfred Hitchcock. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> it, let's see. Let's see. Wait a minute. Move the camera a little bit over there so we can there see. There he is. Hey. You got a great looking kid. I know, right? He turned into a pretty good looking guy. I'm in trouble. You really are in trouble. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe this. You know, I knew your mother before that happened. Yeah. And, Take your and... hat off. Let's see if there's any uh, resemblance. <laughs> oh, oh no, he doesn't have hair. <laughs> no, but I mean, um, Alex. <laughs> is she? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Is she a good mother? Ah, uh, yeah, she is. Huh? Yeah, she is. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he, you know, I mean, I didn't know how he was, because you had pictures of him every now and then as he was growing up, and he had, right. his, he had his ugly stages and so on. So he turned into a, <laughs> that's a good looking kid you got there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, that is amazing. And he's, he is, t uh, who's taller, you or him? Uh, we're about the same height, but, you know, yeah. you know, when he was born, the pediatrician goes, you know, you're looking as tall as 6'8". Whoa, really? Man. Yeah. Well, he's not going to finish growing yet. Oh, I hope he doesn't get to be that tall because then he'll be forced to play basketball in high school. Yeah, no. no clothes fit. Yeah, I got to duck at doorways. No, but do you remember? He's all... like my brothers and my nephews. He hates sports. Every tall kid that I ever knew in high school was almost forced to play f basketball. Oh, they yeah. didn't want to, but they had to. Those poor people. And, and they were all Those named. They were people. all named Shorty. I don't know why they were all named Shorty. I had a friend of mine. He was six foot seven or eight, and his name was Shorty. Okay. And he sometimes was... I think I should have named him Hans, but no, I like Sean. <laughs> <laughs> He's named after Sean Connery. Oh wow! It was it's it's S E A N. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, this makes me feel real old. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I knew you. Well, listen, you... after I had Sean, I had Sean at 41. My next door neighbor, Brett, and his wife tried and tried, gave up, got a dog. And at 49, she gave birth to Lauren, who's a happy, healthy eight-year-old now. Mm -hmm. 49. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, you got some kids, right, uh, Charlene? I got one, right, a boy. What? A He's a boy. Yeah, yeah. That's we, the one that claims. The one that gives you all the That's grief, a, right? Oh God, yeah. he's a pain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Alex, I heard that Twitch uh, doesn't have nudity. What's Twitch? Twitch. Twitch? Like you know, they don't allow nudity. What's Twitch? Twitch. 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 That's the thing my son does constantly. Oh, well, the, Twitch is a game. Is a game. Uh, Gamer channel. thing. Like Gamer that. thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, we, you know, I don't, I don't think you'll find any nudity on YouTube. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you'll find something close to it, but you won't really won't find it. I know? mean, I'm sure he's finding it because he did that when he was about 15. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know what happened with me and YouTube last night? I got a, the citation, you know, uh, the uh, copyrighted material because oh, I yeah. ran that video of the oh, Ukrainian that president playing the piano with his penis. Oh, oh, you oh, talked about that. That was copyrighted, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, they cl somebody claims copyright on just about everything. So uh, uh, that they said they could you they, claim fair use. Well, it, they can only monetize it, and they're not keeping it out of any other country, any countries around the world. But, but I protested it anyway, saying it was fair use that it was a yeah. because it, he was the pre he's now the president of the uh, Ukraine. Yeah. And uh, it was, you know, and we had it and we discussed it. OK, mm -hmm. so I'm going to see what happens. Uh, they'll probably like say fine. But, you know, I have to go to all that trouble every time I get one of these things. I wasn't going to go against my record or whatever, because sometimes they can hit you with bad ones yeah. because you really stole something. <laughs> you know, like I decided to put on uh, 
you know, a Sean Connery movie or something. What are you laughing at him about? He's trying, he's, you know, he's doing, trying to make all these shadow things and I'm grabbing them and he's laughing. <laughs> yeah. A bat. a bat. Thank you, Sean. Well done. Yeah. Mothers and their sons. Yes. You know. Listen. He, yada, yada. he looks like he's a pretty good kid. You know. He is. He's, I, he, I'm very blessed. He's a very, I mean, when you have teachers telling you, I wish I could clone him, I cannot complain. Well, I almost had a kid with you. Yeah. Because you thought you were pregnant and you came to me sheepishly. I and, freaked out. And you said, I think I may be pregnant. And what were the first words out of my mouth? No. <laughs> <laughs> the first words. No, you said you couldn't ask for a better mother. Yeah. I said, if it's going to happen, if, if you're pregnant, I'd rather it be you than just about anybody I know. Yep. You know? Uh, and uh, uh, then it turned out you were pregnant. And I felt terrible. I was so looking forward I. to it. I was looking forward to it. So, Sean, you could have been mine. <laughs> Take off the hat. Compare the hair. <laughs> no. You, you, there. It's, it's, that's, See, you Sean, know. if he was yours, that's what you I'm, had I'm to tell, forward, I'm, I'm look tell, forward to. I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> As you all know, somewhere, somewhere in this world, I have a kid. Uh, I seriously believe it may be Howard Stern, but nobody's been able to prove that. Okay. But anyway, there was this woman that I knew in high school. She got pregnant, and then she gave the kid up for adoption. Well, in later years, somehow she contacted me, and we started communicating back and forth, and, and I kind of tried to bring up the conversation about the kid. I remember you, you telling know. me about this. And she never would kind of talk about that. You know, and I, I would write things like cryptically, like, you know, you had a great influence on my life. And she says, I don't know how, you know, and she would never, she would never admit to it. And I didn't, I wanted to say what happened to the kid because the kid was given up for adoption and went into kind of a blind adoption in those days where you couldn't find the kid. And um, slowly she starts telling me about this. She has three children. And the oldest kid is kind of got some mental problems. He's uh, very, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's uh, very agitated and so on and so forth. And um, uh, I started, she started talking about the kid and I kind of went, that's kind of like me, you know? And I began to think maybe she never gave the kid up for adoption. And then one day she sends me a picture of herself with her son. And there he is, bald as a cue ball. How old, how old was the son? Would it have made sense yeah. that uh, he... Uh, yes. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Did you keep the picture? Huh? No, I never kept the picture. No. She, she it was online in those days. You couldn't yeah. save the picture and things like yeah. that. But uh, uh, I, I often think that that was my kid. You know. Now, with the DNA test that you had done no. uh, that said you were 99% Jewish. Uh, yeah, that was a stretch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did, um, uh, did, and you said that there were some relatives or some people that you matched up to. Uh, no chance of uh, uh, little uh, Alex, right? Well, well they had that ancestry. No, well, well, first, of all, yeah. first of all, first of all. Yeah. Little Alex would have to be on registered on Ancestry.com yeah. for them to say. Oh. Now you know what happened to Ronnie, my ex-wife. Right, oh, she yeah, met her son. Her, her, her yeah. son got a hold of her through Ancestry.com oh. because they were a match, and they said this may be your mother. Holy shit! And he got a hold of her, and sure enough, it was her son, and she now has a relationship with with the son. Yeah. My older brother, my big brother is adopted because back in the 60s, they told my mom she couldn't have kids. So my older brother, my big brother, Jeff, is adopted, though, as far as I'm concerned, he's my blood brother. So my niece, his daughter, sent him one of those kits. And so he took the test and they he was able to find his half siblings. I live in Tracy. They live in Merced. So he flew down, stayed with me and went and um visited them and i guess he's a dead ringer for his dad wow. but when he came back here i asked him i said um do you feel you would have been better off with them and he was like nope 
He said, you know, um, he said, you know, it really wasn't meant to be. Yeah. But he said he was glad that he got to meet his half siblings because it really, you know, brought closure to him. Because I guess what happened is his dad had come into port in Alameda, you know, hooked up with this woman and he was conceived and then she gave him up for adoption. But when he showed me pictures of his dad and when he, I guess when his stepmom who married his dad came, she came to visit. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she got out of the car, she saw my brother and just lost it Nobody, because he's a dead ringer for it, his dad. But, every, you know, every, it was good it, because yeah. it brought closure yeah. to him. Everybody listen to me carefully. Yeah. Charlene is nodding out. Totally. <laughs> <nodding>. <laughs> I'm not nodding. I'm just. You got the blonde. Thing. It's the camera hair shot. Yeah, but it was just you were. You That's were, your close you up. Were, yeah. No, you know what it's like. Like listening to the radio back in radio days. I'm sitting next to it and I'm listening. Like. Oh, I see. Okay, you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back. Where are you going? Bing. I uh -oh. want to get a glass to the of water. photo club. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, uh, first and third Wednesdays. Yeah, I'll wait till he comes back, and then I have to go get my laundry out and bring it up here. <laughs> oh well, I, we all have things to do, don't we? Go into the closet quickly while he's out of the room. Trump's really an asshole these days, isn't he? I mean, yeah. Hey, yeah, today, can... today with the China thing. Oh, that. Oh, was... What happened now? Well, what I he does that. is. He doubles down on stuff, saying that's his way of going "fuck you" to everybody. Mm -hmm. Is doubling down on it. Now he's asking China to investigate. Yeah, now he's asking China oh to investigate. Oh my God! They should have been to Cheney. I want to say Cheney. Should have been to Cheney. I have hair in my nose. I'm not picking it. I'm trying to get this hair out of my nose. It's... I'm picking it out of Tony's nose now because he's down there again, low. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey, Tony, where do you live? I live in New York and Queens. It's a Queens. suburb. Yeah. He's the king of Queens. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> he lives in you know, Queens. He, he lives in Queens. But your brother and, went to visit and you. And I, thought, I, thought, I thought he was a moron, okay? I thought he was a total Queens. moron and, and a total loser. And Stop. then I found out this guy <laughs> makes a fortune in comic yep. books. He buys up comic books, yes! holds yes. on to them for like 20 years, and then yeah, lets order. them go. I'm order, like, yeah. What Check these films. It's like me and my comics. What, was, what recently was it that you that you bought 100 copies of? Oh, uh, I actually have books signed by the artist. Uh, I was Spawn number one. And I think nice. I told you that story. Spawn number one. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm a big fan of Todd McFarlane, the artist. Mm -hmm. He's the creator of Spawn. And i give you a quick thing. It was the early 90s, and yeah. McFarlane was working for Marvel and Jim Lee. And he had his own creation, the rumor goes, of Spawn. He wanted to hand it to Marvel, but Marvel says, if you're going to put it in our line, we have to have certain rights to the... That he might he might have lost some of his rights to the character. Right. So what they did is they created their own comic label, which was Image Comics. Mm -hmm. So he could retain the rights to Spawn. And Jim Lee did, I think, Wildcats, I believe. Yeah. So I actually bought 100 copies of Spawn number one and 100 copies of Wildcats number one because Jim Lee was an up-and-coming guy at the time. Yeah. And, and I just got lucky. And they like signed all of them? Well, actually, no. I got about 10 copies right now or 15 signed by Todd that are certified, but I have at least 15 graded 9.8s, which I could probably get. I just sold one for 350 350 bucks. $350. dollars Yeah, I got. I sold it. I pulled it off my eBay store. And I so you have I at least 10 of those, store. right? I still got 10 in a box, Alex. They don't even. I mean, I have so many. So you got about $3,500 worth of comic books right there. Oh, yeah, easy, easy, yeah. Just on that one title. And I, I thought you were a fucking moron. Jeez well, was, almighty. <laughs> well, it was just a roll of the dice because I called up the distributors. You know, I told my brothers, you know what I'm going to do? He says, what? This is a crazy idea. I says, but I'm really a big fan of McFarlane and Jim Lee. I says, yeah. I says, I can get the guy who offered me, I have to buy in bulk. He says, well, how much? My brother says, well, he says, he'll give it to me 90 cents a book. He says, but what's the difference? I says, but I got to buy 100 
or he won't sell me. I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I said, fuck it. What do I got to lose? So I eat some money then. It wasn't a lot at the time. So I just bagged and boarded them. I left them in the basement. And this was before grading came wait, out. So wait, you know, <laughs> when grading came out, I was like, oh, my God. These are worth a fucking fortune. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Schmoody has just pulled out a bunch of comic books. Oh, my son's having a seizure. Oh, Uncle Tony. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold, 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 up, one, hold up one. Hold on, up one. I'm going crazy for hold time. Up one you know, I collect all the Batman stuff. Uh, okay, I'm a big Batman fan. Okay, so uh, hold up one of them. Hold up you one of the have, Batman. You, you, it, it, okay, I now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's, let's find out what Tony does for a living here. Tony, grade yes. this comic. Hold it up. Well, I have to see it in front of me, hold but it. it's got creases on it. No, hold hold, hold, uh, hold it up. Yeah, if it breaks color, it's not good. Okay, uh, okay, the spec. Hey, hey, okay, uh, that one looks, uh, are they all in pristine condition? No, like they're not in pristine condition, but, um, well, actually, a lot of them are. There's a, you know, we go to the Treasure Island flea market every That's once true. in a while. And um, so we have a hookup over there, and usually he gives us discounts on stuff that's like 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. I got a good story for you. When I was a kid, I used to hit the. Oh, okay, that's a that's a seventy. See how it breaks color by the spine now. That's a seventy. That's probably like if I had to guess, yeah, I would say that's like seventy six. We have sixties, seventies, eighties, and nineties yeah, comic books. Yeah. Okay. See, they break the color by the spine, so that would be. See, that's Venom, Lethal Protector, the red cover. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. I have that a lot of those too, Alex. <laughs> I was just scooping those up like man. We should start a whole okay. new show. Grade your comic with with Tony, and then the people will hold up their comic books, and you'll tell them how much it's worth. Oh, I think that's a Batman 400 issue you passed by. Wait a minute. Is that a Batman? Just hold up one, and he'll tell you what it is. Yeah, that's a nice one. You know what's another thing? See how it breaks color, though, by the spine? Once you start breaking color, that's probably like a 7 off. What do you mean breaking yeah. color? What do you mean Charlie breaking color? Breaks color? What do you mean breaking? Like, I'm never getting. My mother broke wind before. That's a different story. What, what do you mean? Yeah, break, what do you mean breaking like, color? Like if you look at the spine, Alex, you yeah. see how this. You know this cracks. It looks white. It was open. Yes. They both from opening it. Oh, I so, see. I'll never even opened. Oh, you got the Debbie Harry book. I gotta, I gotta buy it. I want to read that. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Facelift? Not yet. <laughs> no, she had one. I'll she tell you. Had Hey, she, Charlene, you know, is there any pictures from Chris Stein in there? Did he put any pictures she in? She used to wait on my table at the uh, at, uh, I know, Max's I'm jealous. Kansas City. I know, City. I know, I know you have stories about her, yeah. I always took girlfriends to uh, Max's Kansas City, for, uh, usually first date. That was, uh, and then we go upstairs and uh, uh, see music and uh, I never went upstairs you know, have dinner. to see the music. You never I went just, upstairs? You no, know, I just stayed downstairs and threw chickpeas at people. But yeah, well, those were free on the table. But the thing is that Deborah, Debbie Harry, then wound up years later in my studio with uh, some jazz group. And um, I never realized this about her because all I ever heard were those, you know, those hits that she had. She's a great jazz singer. Oh, she can She's jazz. just a great jazz singer. You used jazz, to have a lot of jazz. Up jazz there. Passenger, I think, was the name of the group she was singing with. And she, I have a recording of her on the show. I'd play it for you, but I'd probably oh, but get, you know. I would like to hear <laughs> but, uh, the yeah, last I, time I was, at, I was at Max's, I saw Odetta. You remember her? Mm -hmm. I remember Odetta, sure. Yeah. 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 I just found out she was adopted by people in New Jersey. Oh, oh really? Marsha? Yeah, I didn't know that about her. <laughs> and she was also raped. You know, yeah, she's she's by her adopted? Because yeah. yeah. Madonna said she was raped, too, which I always thought she probably was. I was raped. Because uh, was... Madonna would go up and I know people That's that, you know, because always asking strangers, like, do you have money for a cab? And, you know, and one of her stories was that when she um, came yeah. from Michigan, she was real naive. And she, you know, it was still the day of pay phones. So she's in the street and she says to a guy, you know, I need change. Do you have any quarters for this phone? He's like, well, why don't you come up? I live right up here. And you could use my phone, and he took her up, and he, that's how she got raped. That's her story. Let me let me let me bring up just a, a one thing, one political question tonight, uh, and I have also a couple of items here. Hold on, a second. let me go over and get my uh, my stuff out of the printer. Uh, um, by the way, I'm going to the DMV tomorrow to get my new license. Oh, wow. I'm supposed to go on Monday, and I don't have a social, I don't have a social security card. 
Uh, you know, be, well, well because, uh, because you, you, you got to get that little star on there so you can. Imagine you know, they deploy right. it, it, It's called a verified license or something. Oh, that's or, a new one. I think you could have to have that to travel. Well, no, but you know, it, it, it. But here's the big deal. Okay, What's no, that? you don't have to have it to travel. Oh no. Okay. You can no. bring a passport with you, and that oh, will do okay. if you have a passport. You have to. You have to have it to get uh, verified in California to buy bullets. Bullets. Really? They want yeah, to track. I can't, I can't buy bullets right now. <laughs> that might be a good thing. <laughs> that may be a good thing. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, anyway, maybe for you, Tony. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, so let me let me let me let me ask you this. You're safe. You're safe until I get the new license. Let me ask you this. Uh, and Charlie, you should be able to answer this one because this is aimed right. He's right. muted. Uh, are you there, Charlie? Can you hear us? Maybe he fell asleep. Uh, oh. He's pointing to something. Oh, he's pointing. He's, oh, he's he, taking a phone call. Oh, he's taking a phone call. Maybe I shouldn't start talking about this. No, the question is, is Bernie Sanders through? Uh, no, oh. you know, I had three stents uh, no, no, uh, no, this no, last no. year. Forget that. Oh, you I think because... Today, I don't mean, he's is he going to die from, from it? No, I'm not. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, to tell you the truth, he'll probably come back a lot stronger than he was physically with the stents. But what you're saying is, uh, is opinion going to yes, be against him because, because of his age? He's 78. I don't think so. He got the stents, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, people do not... They had, they had a little problem with him because he was 78. 78 was stents, I think. Pretty much, he's going to have to give up the I'm, ghost. I'm 65 with stents, and I feel like I'm 40 again. Uh, so the uh, you know the idea is uh, you know he's he's going to have a lot more energy. But then you had your see... prostate removed, so you feel like 80. So it all equals itself. Uh, out, you know, you know. Nah. but the yeah. the thing is, uh, you know, the stents made a big difference in uh, in the way I felt, and that might reflect uh, very positively for him as well. So he may be, and his base is very loyal. His base wouldn't give a shit if he was 102. Uh, they they just love that social uh, so, uh, social worker uh, Bernie, you know. Uh, here here's Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. yeah. What we're yes. talking about is 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 is, uh, is Bernie Sanders finished? I mean, uh, you know. No, I don't think so. Well, he's I, an Elizabeth Warren guy. Uh, well, I, I'm an Elizabeth. Yeah, but that was a Bernie guy, guy in '16. <laughs> Yeah, but my question is, you know, how confident are pe would people feel in him? Being 78 was bad enough, okay, but 78, now he's got some kind of heart incident, albeit just putting stents in there. Uh, yeah, but there's thousands of people, or millions of people that have stents in. They live decades. Yeah, after. and that's fine. It, it, but I'm, In but one I'm, week. No, but I'm, I'm talking about the confidence of the voting public. Okay. I think That's, that the commies that vote for him would vote for him anyway. The because commies they, that vote yeah, for they him. Rep, he represents what they like. You know, I wish I could exactly. get down for I wish, I wish this were like... I, can't I, I agree wish with Skype, but yeah. I wish <laughs> Skype were better than it is, because if it were better than it, than it is, I would have Schmoody lean over and slap you right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Every oh time God. I hear Bernie Sanders' name, I think of Larry David doing... <laughs> Oh, they're great. That that Larry oh, David yes. doing Bernie Sanders is fabulous. Oh, but you know something? Man. He's not doing Bernie Sanders. He's, he's, doing, doing, Larry. he's, oh, he's doing, doing Larry David. David. He's doing Larry, Larry David. David because they were both born in the same part of Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. And they're both approximately the same age. So but it is funny as it's so funny. As as yeah. Yeah. But he, he doesn't have to. It's not a big stretch. You know, pretty oh. simple. So anyway. Uh, no, I just, I just wondered if you, if you thought that maybe there, because I think that the public, voting public, uh, will lose confidence in, in his, in his health, okay? And How once they see him, hmm? I, I, knowing the difference in uh, stent, no stent, yeah. once they see him, I think there's going to be such an improvement in yeah. his uh, vigor that uh, he may overcome that. Yeah. When you got a stent, was that just a simple procedure? I mean, how simple was it? Well, I, they don't put you out. They put you in La La Land. I was awake for the whole thing. I had actually had it done twice because I had one artery that was 70% blocked. Twilight, isn't that and, Yeah, and one that was 100% uh, blocked. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, so uh, the Walnut Creek Hospital 
did the first stent, and they didn't have the equipment to do the one that was 100% blocked. So I, a month later, I went. The blockage? Pardon me? In your heart? Uh, no, well, to an artery going to the heart. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I never had a heart attack or anything, but uh, uh, the difference in, I, I, I was having all sorts of joint pain, and I thought I had arthritis everywhere. It was, the, it was the blood flow. Mm. I don't mean to interrupt, but my mom is 88, and she's limping, and she just went to the uh, vascular guy, and she has a deep vein thrombosis. Take her, her over to Tony's house. He'll push no, her down I'm the stairs. No, I'm going to call him tomorrow. Uh, and I got ask, another room. Do you think they can stent her? <laughs> yeah. Like well, they, or they, they have to, you know, they give him a, a, a stress EKG. They, uh, oh, they, so I need the cardiologist then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, because I wasn't sure. And they can look at that mm -hmm. and then determine whether or not there might be a blockage, and then they if do an angioplasty. The you know, we're, 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 this uh, is they'll, 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 they'll do it in the back alley. The, the youngest person <laughs> on this panel tonight, well, is Tony, probably. but Tony's 50. But Schmoody is second in being the youngest. And here we are talking about all this medical shit, you know. Again. Well, uh, it's yeah. that or Trump. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, you, you used the T word. Uh, yeah, you you used the T word. Uh, uh, three no Trump. It's bridge. Yeah, uh, I, uh, Trump. Uh, well, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, so okay. So I'm just wondering what you felt about about uh, his uh, chances and all of this. You know. Uh, he didn't have a chance before this, but well, I uh, don't think he's, uh, I, he. I don't think he's going to get the nomination. Uh, no. You know, before he he stood out because there were only two of them. Yeah. You know, and he was a direct polar opposite of Hillary, so you really had a choice there to make. Now he's got a whole bunch of other people who are kind of like. I mean, politically, yeah. there's very little of a difference between um, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Except that they're both lying to what they're going to give you. Oh, Phil, stop it. Oh, stop it, Phil. Do you have oh, to say something? Like that? Why Why ruin our, our reverie here? Of, 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 of Because, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're fooling yourself. You know, uh, uh, unto thy own self be true, Shakespeare I, said. No, I'm not fooling if myself. If you lie to yourself, Here's how I'm not fooling to? myself. Phil, every country in the world has universal health care. We're the only ones. Why yeah. do you think it's impossible here? But those those countries pay 70, 80, 90 percent of their income to, to, they to cover it. They do not either. That's and then lie. they tell you what kind of job you can have and when you can go to they sleep. They don't do that in Britain. They don't do that in France. They don't do that in Japan. They don't oh, do that in Denmark. When's the last time you were there? <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, Charlene. Oh, oh. Yes, Charlene. Ooh, ooh. Okay, you two guys going at each other like that reminded me, I watched CNN right before you came on, and Cuomo, you know, Chris Cuomo, is that the one? Or, yeah. Oh, he was yeah. on with some guy that's a governor in one of those uh, below the uh, Mason-Dixon line states. Yeah. And he's a Trumper, the guy from, oh. you know, the, the governor of the, the southern state. Yeah. And he, Cuomo and he were going at it because that guy's a Trumper. And he's still insisting. I mean, Phil should get together with him. He was defending Trump. There's nothing wrong with Trump, uh, all this other stuff. And Chris Cuomo was going nuts, like the way Chris Charlie Cuomo, was on there. Chris <laughs> Cuomo's an idiot. Well, that's, uh, that's, yeah. a, that's an interesting assessment of him rather than an intelligent uh, put down. Because he's just no, like I, Trump. I'm just using one he's of yours, you know. Like that. See, Everyone's an idiot. This like, is the reason, Kathleen, like that. that I'm so happy that I don't remember him from when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of these days, uh, Cuomo doesn't admit. Pictures, right. Right. By the way, speaking of CNN, they've said they have rejected two advertisements submitted by President Donald Trump's re-election huh? campaign because oh. they weren't factual. But yeah. we'll run a third ad. Uh, 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 that was submitted on Thursday. Trump's campaign likened CNN to a public relations firm for the Democrats after Trump. the rejection of its first advertisement, which discussed allegations against former Vice President Joe Biden that the network said had been proven false by several 
news organizations. Yep. Hey, did you hear that today? Let me finish the Volker, story. Let me finish the story. Well, it supports what you're the saying. The story reports the ad also flashed pictures of three CNN journalists it described as media lapdogs for Democrats. Uh, Volker testified for nine hours today. Yeah. Uh, in closed session. Mm -hmm. And what was leaked out of this closed session was that he, uh, they claim that he said to Giuliani that the information from the Ukraine is suspect about Biden. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but I don't know if that's true because it's being leaked from a closed session uh, 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 hearing. So, you know, they uh, it, like Adam Schiff, they they leak whatever they want. They'll they'll sit there and read the report. What if it's true, Phil? Their own what words. if it's what is uh, it, what if it's true, Phil? Will you uh, will you? Well, I don't, I don't know what that means in in general. I mean, it's not the full picture. You know, you, just like a camera, you Suppos take a slice supposedly of Giuliani is the Trump whisperer. You know, and uh, he's he's whispering all this stuff in Trump's ear, and Trump is like eating it up, and all of it seems to be without any real verification or any real substance. Right, they were going over that on CNN. Yeah, yeah. and and so uh, it, the undoing of your boy may be Rudy Giuliani. Right, well, we'll right. See. That's what they say now. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. That's what Phil always says. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. We'll see. Well, we are going to see. You yeah. know, it's going to be long and dragged out because it's. It, How long can so it be dragged out? Because we got an election coming and, up until next year. 2024. Uh, it's, it's you know, so I got my I got my Giuliani on the phone. You know, <laughs> I. I there's my what Giuliani. Oh, look. It's, <laughs> look, it's, 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 it's yeah. Nosferatu. He is. <laughs> and he's got these big rings. Have you noticed what? these big rings he has He's on? Italian. Of course he's got big rings. No, he never had that before. No, he's got, he Tony, he's Tony got says to me, he's wearing a pinky ring. I said, of course yeah, he's, he's wearing like a pinky ring. He's Italian. With the pinky what ring? Italian see? doesn't have a pinky ring in yeah, one of those little horns? Well, you know? That's because like, he's mob. Like, they they got those horns on a gold chain. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's a hood. It looks like it. Uh, <laughs> he's a hood. The, the only hood that you wear is the one, the little uh, orange one your mother bought you in kindergarten to keep the rain off. It's the gang that couldn't look. shoot <laughs> straight, like, or something. The uh, whole thing, Trump and his people. It's yeah. incredible. Like, you know, all the president's men was already taken, so they can't use it for this, you know, because that's the next <laughs> thing. Why can't they use it? Because it's already been taken it's, from the Watergate people. Like the committee to reelect the president, is he going to call it that? Because that was Nixon's campaign, no, right? It's um, <laughs> what? The committee to reelect. When I was a kid, I would come home from school. There was no television except for that Watergate. And Same with Alex. When he on. would come home from school, they 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 had cowboys and Indians fighting in the street. You know, yeah, but every channel would have Watergate, and like I just leave it on. And I would watch them all every You know, day, uh, Kathleen, forever, you, you, know? you can't lean over and hit him. Uh, um, a, a, Charlie a, can he's do actually, well, there. Charlie's <laughs> in between them. Yeah, but you can't hit him. But we, maybe I can tell you where I he would, lives, and you, you know. can go out later and get him. Okay? <laughs> Just go over to his house, you knock on the door, he opens the door, I don't have any hit bullets. him in the head, and then leave. <laughs> You know, no, what would be funny is one of these days we're going to be on the show and I'm going to pop up in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, uh, yeah, a lot of these people live close to each other. We had Ray on yeah. last night. Ray lives uh, down in oh, the South well, Bay. You know. Oh, Alex. Yeah. Can I ask a question about the new comedian? What is his name? You know, when you do the spots. For oh, half Steven, hour. Uh, Steve Kravitz. He's got to be like a um, San Francisco guy or from the California. Steve Kravitz. Uh, he's a New Yorker, or whatever. But he's, but he's, I said Steve. Or... Steve Kravitz. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he like from uh, Live 105 or Camel or like well, San Francisco? He was Francisco. on Live 105 uh, with me. Yeah. Yeah. He's he wouldn't California let him on Camel. Guy. You remember Steve I... Kravitz, don't you, uh, Kathleen? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very funny comic. 
Very funny. Kind oh, of. you know what? My son is so pissed at me because I didn't know you when you had Stephen King on your show all the time. <laughs> no, I only had because him on once. Because he loves Stephen King, and he's like, <sighs> really, Mom? I had him on once. I had him on I once. I thought, no, you had him on more than once. Really? Yeah. No, I had him on when he did. He directed a movie. There was only one movie he ever directed. And I'm trying to remember what the name of it was now. And he came on the show for that. That great show. I yeah. Great now, show. if he was on again, it might have been by telephone. But I never had him in the studio more than once. You know. Oh, he he's was working on that. Nice film guy. Now. Nice guy. Really that decent, film cool is guy. To be very yeah. Trump, right? The yeah. one he's working on now. What? He's working on what's the, the stand? Is that the the one? He's film. You know, shooting it now. Whoopi Goldberg is in it or something. How many times have they Damn. done the stand though? They did it as a movie and they, they already did, it as... did it. There's something else he's working no, on. No, maybe but... it's a different one. I have the yeah. wrong title. But, uh, but it's it supposed Whoopi's to be in it. Trump thing, like Tony, raise your thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing Tony. This is Tony. Tony, Tony, yeah, Tony. Yeah. Oh, Nash. Um, 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 <laughs> The Incredible Actually, Shrinking the Man. Drop. You know what I heard? Yes. What I heard tonight from Shecky? Did anybody watch Flea Bag? I, I did. I did. No, but I saw it. Uh, is it, it any good? It's, I think it's, you it's, said it was good. It is terrific. It's it is great. terrific. Yeah. But anyway, this woman, uh, you know, she did Flea Bag, mm -hmm. and she was the she she wrote and created the first season of Killing Eve. I mean, she's very talented. And now she has just she's one of the co-writers of the latest James Bond film. Oh, oh really? Like Who's going to be Bond? What it's thing, me. Craig? I'm Bond. Well, aren't they talking about a black Bond? No, no, you know, no. Like no that. That's later on down that's the line. That's Charlie's the black this Bond. This is the current movie they're shooting <laughs> with Daniel Craig. That's <laughs> called Shaft. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always love to ask people in a, in a mixed group of ages, who was your favorite uh, oh, yeah, James Bond? Oh, yeah, who would be Bond? your favorite Bond, Alex? Huh? Yeah. Who's your favorite? The first one. Well, I mean, oh, to me, there's got to be Sean Connery. There's, there's no, there's yeah, no other Bond. Who's the, one, who's the original, original one uh, on TV on, on in the movies? Uh, what was his name? Uh, well, the with, first, with the the first huh? guy that ever played James Bond was Barry Nelson. No, the, later than that. Then. Oh, you mean in the movies, Sean Connery? Uh, was Sean Connery the original more? one yes. from the early 60s? Yeah, he was yes. Dr. No, Goldfinger. And oh, okay. And Sean Connery. You Russia didn't know that, that film? Huh? That's Trump's favorite movie. I Russia. never watch Bond <laughs> films. I have no... no Look, no, no wonder why Phil film. likes Trump. He never saw any Bond films. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Not one? I, I like the car that Aston Martin DB4 I bought. I rode in that. Yeah, yeah, I rode in it. Yeah, I'm in Houston. They brought Bond. it to Houston, and I rode in it in a parade. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's a hard top, though. Uh, yeah. Well, no, this was the one from the movie. Yeah, but it's oh, a yeah. hard top. It's a hard movie, top. Yeah. 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 The, what, the when the they shot the they... guy out of the car, that was done with a, you know. Yeah. Were you ever in the Pope Mobile? Huh? Pope Mobile? You know, when he came to San Francisco and that. Uh, you know what I always yeah, wanted you, you in that Pope Mobile. What I always wanted in that Pope Mobile is as he's going down the street, all of a sudden a windblower goes on and a whole bunch of dollar bills go flying around in the... <laughs> <laughs> like an <in> a... <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Do they, they still have the... When we were in Europe, I wanted an Austin Mini Cooper so bad. Oh, yeah. And then you got me one from uh, Harrods. Yeah, a little Just tiny, tiny, tiny one. model. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Mr. Bean Mobile. The Mr. Bean I Mobile. I borrowed one of those from a friend once. They're really pieces of shit. Uh, oh, I've got <laughs> Actually, the newer ones they made weren't. Uh, no, they, no, they, I'm talking about an original the, one. The, the newer right. ones they made were very, actually very powerful little cars. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was amazing. Why, did you did you ever get in one of those newer ones, uh, Charlie? No, I've, I've just been, uh, you know, I, I like them. I, and uh, what was that movie that they were in? Uh, when they were stealing all this gold. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, oh God, I know. With, I've always liked them. I've I've never actually been in one, but. Yeah, what was the movie it was in though? It had a whole bunch of very famous stars in it. Mm -hmm. I just Snatch. That, uh, no, no, the Wahlberg was in it. Yeah. Uh, um, was Clooney in that oh, too? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Oceans 
11, 12, 13. No, 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 no. Oh, Hold on. Damn it. Okay, yeah. well, let's go to IMDb. What? And I yeah, put in I Wahlberg. Wall oh, Wahlberg. No, you see this? Ooh, this is a Citroën Du Chavu yes. that I bought in Paris. Du Chavu. That's made, out of, that's made out of a milk can. Nice. <laughs> that's cute. Nestle. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? I'm waiting for IMDb. To, oh, there we go. Bring up Mark Wahlberg. Let's see here. Come on. Planet of the Apes. Uh, what? I no, love that. I'll find out here. Hold on a second. <laughs> Lovely Bones, what happening? Boy, he's done a lot of fucking movies. Yeah. Jeez, yeah almighty. He's almighty. God. Uh, hit, where is it? That he, porno movie he did where he was roller skating. Ooh, nice. Oh, oh, oh I'd oh, love to have one of those. Uh, yeah, I they do. They don't make those anymore. Ah, that, here it is. Yeah, that's, here it that's is. That's what I drive. The Italian job. Nice. The, that was it. The, the yeah. Italian job. Damn it. The Italian job, dude. Yeah, okay. What? Yeah. Huh? Oh. Yeah. But that, that's when I first saw Mini Coopers, and I've been kind of infatuated with them ever since. Yeah. But why did they yeah. use Mini Coopers in that film? There was a reason, cheap. wasn't there? <laughs> You one time, Fiat 600s. One mm -hmm. time, I buried the speedometer in Alex's 300 ZX twin turbo. Uh, fast. <laughs> I went as fast as that motherfucker could go until I buried the speedometer at 160. So I'm well, going. I took one of my part time soups, man. We're burying the speedometer in San Leandro 160, and we slowed down in Fremont. Don't you like I Alex, wasn't in the car at the time, your was car, I? And that's what she did with it? Well, <laughs> he was in New York, and he's going. I'm sure he I was. Go, you I did, go, you dude, did. I buried the speedometer in the 300. He's like, huh? And I go, I went as fast as I could until the speedometer couldn't go anymore. And he's like, what? And then he goes, how did it ride? Fuck, dude, it was smooth as a baby's butt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you did that to my car. I can't remember. Yes, you do. I'm never lending you my car again, lady. <laughs> oh, I took good care of your cars. Because when you take off, you'd say, um, Schmooty, do you want a pimp or do you want a sport? And pimp meant I would be in the Acura 3.5 RL with the Bose system and the GPS Yoko. Yeah. Or if I wanted to sport, it was the 300ZX, which my niece and nephew called the Batmobile. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were the days when I had two cars, one for each, yep. one, one for each foot, as I used to and, like to say. And yeah. you'd keep one of them at Gary's Punch Buggy Hollow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, this was another thing that she and I used to do, and and uh, we we became black and blue over it. Do you ever play Punch Buggy, any of you? Nah, it's uh, okay. Get sued. Here's how you play Punch <laughs> Buggy. If you see an old Volkswagen, you know the bug. Yeah. You go, whatever the color is, punch buggy yellow, and then you hit somebody in the arm. <laughs> Except we would commence the game, and sometimes when I would commence it, you would uncommence it. Why we had it? rules. Why was that? Because there was this one place we could go. We called it Punch Buggy Hollow. It was on the there, way to Gary's. In which there were a ton of people oh, in this no. neighborhood seemed to have these bugs, right? And it was punch buggy yellow, punch buggy blue, punch buggy brown. There was a a, 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 a fix-it shop, a car fix-it shop, where yep. they were doing Volkswagens. We were, we were just we were just slugging each other like crazy. He'd be driving, and I'd start to get cocked and loaded, and he'd say, "Man, I'm trying to drive. I'm trying to save our lives." <laughs> was that was that a Volkswagen shop uh, in the Fillmore? No, no. This, oh. in, this was in uh, Marin County. Like San Anselmo oh. or Marin no, or something. San Rafael. San Rafael. Yes. Yeah. Uh, those Marinites were always driving uh, well, micro buses. I'll tell you, the, the upshot of this is she got an old beat up, just a down in the mouth uh, Volkswagen. But for 200 bucks on eBay. And by the time I was done with it, if I didn't run a lot of gas in the gas tank, second gear, I popped the front end off the ground. I, yeah. I put in a. Alex had a square back. I remember that. Those are you had, rare. You had a square back. I never had a square back. Yeah. You oh, did. oh, yes, I did one time. Small. Yeah. yeah early on. Yeah, but. It, uh, that was. I think uh, when you it, drove out here, she you completely. Came out she really completely restored a Volkswagen bug. How much did you finally get rid of that thing for? You sold it. Um, 
It sold in four hours on eBay for a little over 10,000. And a guy out oh. of Texas, his wife had been looking for one. And um, there was their first actual eBay transaction. But, you know, I had over like 500 um, transactions. How much so money did you spend restoring it though? Probably seven grand. So you lost it, money on the deal. No, you didn't. No, you I made money. over, I made like 4,500. Mm -hmm. There's, and, and next year, Volkswagen's coming out with a electric micro minibus. And, I want that. And, you know, I've got 157,000 miles on my uh, Toyota, which isn't much for that car. It's no. still like brand new. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm thinking that maybe while my Toyota is still worth a lot of money, it's almost worth what I paid for it new. Uh, yeah. because they're rare. Uh, yep. I might get one of those micro minis. I've got 200,000 miles on my uh, United card. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you Phil. I want it. one of those new micro mini buses. They're just gorgeous. They're, they're electric, though. Yes. So plug, in, uh, plug in electric. Exactly. I, I don't know. Uh, do you feel comfortable in an electric car? I'm not sure. You know, uh, because I, I would, if the Mirai wasn't so ugly and didn't, and there weren't so few uh, uh, hydrogen filling stations, I would think about getting one of those Toyota Mirais, which are a hydrogen cell car, and you know, all they burn is water, and uh, you know, I, I like the idea. Yeah, but of I mean, the thing is, the thing that bothers me uh, about uh, about electric cars is that you know, suppose you're you run out of electricity and you're well, out. Some... If you go to Whole Foods, they got a place for you to plug in. There's places to plug in all really? over the place. Yeah, especially in the Bay Area here. Well, it must yeah. be in California, yes. In yeah. New, in New yeah, York. In Austin, too. Yeah, yeah. In, in New York, lots of luck. And by the way, my question is, how long does it take you to recharge? I don't know. Uh, you know, I may still drive this one uh, another 100,000 miles. <laughs> I just had Recaro seats put in it. So what color really feel, is it? It's uh, the army green. Nice. But so you own a real size car of that. Yeah. Let me yeah. see yeah. the car again though. What is that? It's a uh it's a Toyota FJ Cruiser. Oh. Those are sweet. We're talking <laughs> Rubicon sweet. So how do you fit in there? Oh, it's a big car. No, it's that one. Oh, not not <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh, this one. A, 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 a customer gave it to in me. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm only 5'8", you know. <laughs> You're only 5'8", I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever. Hey, listen, uh, it's, uh, uh, we're almost, we got about another, oh, what? Wait a minute, Kathleen's frozen. Are you still there, Kathleen? Uh, she's I'm not here. Frozen yeah, Scott. you're just frozen a little bit there for, for some reason. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Now you're not frozen. Sometimes people go like that, and then I think maybe, did she have a stroke? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I got dead. You know, one day, one day, I, 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 if I keep doing this long enough, I'll, I'll die doing this. You realize that, don't you? You know, I'll just. I'll get a stint tomorrow, and I'll be part of the gang. Yeah, okay. you, know, you, you got to get some. Go get some kind of horrible <laughs> medical yeah. correction yeah. of some sort. I don't know. You know, it's, it's only, it's only. I, who knows what I'm going to have to have eventually. Yeah. Uh, but you'll come. You'll brain come, act to me. You'll come wheel me around or something. I will. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this has been this has been kind of a that's, sweet. That's night what you need it. Tony for. He'll, he'll do the wheel. At one point we had almost <laughs> we had we had a, a very oh, large audience w uh, watching. Now it's back down to the Alan. normal well, amount. Well, after I wheel you around, I'm going to Tony's house to see his comic book collection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. right, right. Excellent. Hey, listen, this has been a lot of fun tonight. Uh, love having you on, Kathleen. You're, you're you're a delight, and your son. I'm amazed. He's a yeah. he's a he's a hunk. Not that he's you know, cute. I'm not gay or anything, but he's a hunk. <laughs> Very nice looking. Yeah. You know, thank uh, you. Uh, yes, uh, and and thank you also to uh, to Charlene for joining us this evening. Thank you, Charlene. We appreciate it. Uh, Charlie, always a pleasure having you here. You're always our anchor. You're the first guy who usually calls, and it's terrific. Uh, are you there, Charlie? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh, okay. I'm frozen on YouTube. Oh, he's just frozen. <laughs> yeah, he is. What the hell, uh, Tony? Thank you. You and your wallpaper. And give your best to my mother uh, if she still has a pulse. 
And uh, also, uh, 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 Phil, yeah, as always, you know, yeah, whatever. So anyway, that's our citizen panel for tonight. And if they'll all give you a big wave goodbye, I'll wave back at them. And uh, there we go. They're, they're gone and they're done with. And uh, let me just turn off my, um, my uh, 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 Skype so the next show can do it. The next show, of course, being uh, Jack Bishop. He'll be here with the, uh, with the intersection. You should call him. He would love to get your call as well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be here again uh, tomorrow night, right after Damian Chaplin does the exchange. He does that long about, uh, what is it? Well, he does that long about uh, 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time. I will see you again tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.